on one means top of the pops. Then at 7.30, Ethel reports the news of Dot's tragic loss. He's been found decreased on the M25. David Bellamy is being a bit of a stick in the mud at 8. It's beginning to work. Solver, part of the breath of life itself. At 8.30, on the up. Have you heard of fatal attraction, Mrs Wembley? <laughs> is that what you're wearing? <laughs> Granville's needing some dough at 9.30. There he goes, they'll say, look, there's that Granville. Oh, you should see his flaky pace. <laughs> Omnibus at 10 presents a portrait of Dame Joan Sutherland, La Stupenda. The greatest professional person, a charming, charming lady, Australian and beautiful. Thursday on One. Well, if you're worried about being found decreased on the M25, stay with us. Advice is to follow after a look at the weather. It'll be another warm, humid night in many areas. Most central and eastern districts will be relatively clear with some sea fog and low cloud drifting onshore overnight. But quite wet and quite windy weather will move into Northern Ireland, Western Scotland and the far west of England and Wales by daybreak. Dull wet conditions will cross eastwards through Scotland during tomorrow with brighter weather following. Northern Ireland will brighten up during the morning but cloud will thicken again with rain later in the evening. Rain will also affect England and Wales, but will become patchy and showery as it moves east. Some eastern areas will be sunny for most of the day, with a threat of thunder later. These eastern areas will be very hot and sultry tomorrow, but as the rain clears in the west, it will become rather fresher there. Tennessee Williams weather, one of my colleagues called it the other day. Anyway, those are the rather steamy prospects. may not have travelled very far, everything seems fine, but already you may be subject to driver fatigue. It's particularly dangerous because it creeps up on you unawares. You may have experienced drowsiness like this several times already. So far you've been lucky, but the next time you feel the slightest suggestion of it, open your window. Stop at a suitable place. Get out, walk around, drink a cup of coffee. Give yourself at least 15 minutes before you start driving again. Driver fatigue. It could put you to sleep for good. That was a public information film. And of course one's not allowed to rest on the hard shoulder. Not that that bothers me, I prefer a soft one myself. But never mind the preferences of a fatigued announcer. I'll just stay awake long enough to tell you that providing a service, especially for insomniacs and drivers who want to stay awake, is Radio One with the soporific sounds of Bob Harris featuring Steve Booker in session. On Radio Two, Alex Lester is taking no nap on his right night ride, but Radios Three, Four and Five have suffered terminal fatigue, save the BBC World Service, which is in occupation of Radio Four's long wave and medium wave frequencies. If you too are turning in, this is David Miles wishing you, on behalf of everyone here in Television Centre, a very peaceful night. Good night.